Today we're going to talk about head pressure control on commercial refrigeration condensing units. One thing to know when we size a condenser for a commercial refrigeration condensing unit is we're sizing it for the hottest day of the year. But commercial refrigeration requires cooling year round. So as the temperatures drop in the fall and winter, our condenser essentially becomes too large for the system. We need a mechanism on this system to ensure pressures do not drop off as our condenser becomes too large. Head pressure control valves are the way we do this by manipulating refrigerant flow. The head pressure control is located on the outlet side of the condenser and holds back liquid refrigerant as pressures start to drop on the system. When we hold back refrigerant, it stacks refrigerant in the condenser, essentially reducing the size of that heat exchange surface and properly sizing the condenser for that condition. When we do that, we are stacking refrigerant in our system it does restrict flow to our receiver and the rest of our system that might be calling for cooling. So another piece of this equipment that it has to be considered is we keep the pressures high enough in the receiver as we block refrigerant flow. That is why there is a third connection tied to our discharge line which keeps the receiver pressurized as demand is needed on the system. This is a typical head pressure control valve on our smaller horsepower units. As you can see here, it is one single valve, but as the horsepower and size of the units go up, we might turn to a two valve setup seen with valves similar to these. This is your holdback valve on your condenser, and this differential valve is located in the discharge branch feeding the receiver and keeping it pressurized, just like we discussed. This component is necessary and standard on every outdoor commercial refrigeration condensing unit and critical to the operation of the system.